In this video, I just want to show you about saving properties to a feature layer to the service. So I've got historic England battlefields here. This is our polygons. And let's just go into the uh, map viewer for it. And by default, as you know, when you load these um, where points, polygons, or whatever, you've got some kind of default uh, symbology and rules used to draw it. Well, what if whenever I open this or anyone in my organization opens this, I want them to have my own default, the own, uh, our own standardized default for symbology, for labeling, all this sort of thing. So how do you do that? Well, you first of all, you set what you want it to look like. Let's do a quick edit layer style. Let's style options. Let's make them fill with green. Let's say, um, let's have a thick outline width. Okay. So we got that. Yeah, it's not not won't win any design prizes. That's not the point. So that's done and done. So now we've got this very particular um, color scheme. But let's do a label. Let's set a standard for the label. So we'll add a class. Let's say I at the moment it's come up with the battle. That's fair enough. But let's set it so you have to be quite close to draw it and we'll um that battles so let's draw in red okay or some kind of dark red or whatever um so anyway I'll, I'll leave it at that so now when i there you go when i zoom in I, I i get it when i zoom out i don't so i've kind of made the standards and, and you can do other things you know we could we could configure the pop-up how that that's to look and and which fields to select and all that sort of thing. So what happens next? Because I want this to be like the standard. Well, when you have the layer selected, you go to properties and then um, here you see information and just click save. You could save as a totally new reference effectively to this. So people can use the standard um, sort of symbology and config pop-up and all that sort of thing and labeling. Um, or you could put it straight on the default hosted feature service, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do save, and it says saving historic um, battlefields. Yep. So um, we'll let that do its stuff. So we did all that work just in this visualization, just in this web map, but that's not actually what I want to work with. So now I'm coming along, and for some reason I've got this piece of work that um, is using some pubs and I want to show the nearest battlefields to pubs so uh, with my sample uh, pubs data set so now I've just opened up this all around less as you can see and I'm thinking yeah I want to add those battlefields so when I go add and click on what I've just been using press add you see here I've now got with no messing about in the properties or anything um, the actual standard scheme that I want and as I zoom in I'll get those red labels he says eventually there you go so um, you can override those of course but it's a but it's a good starting point it's a good way to standardize and and just lock in exactly what you want uh, it's written to the feature service um, this this information so if anyone uses this from now on those battlefields they're gonna get that color scheme, those labels, that style, visibility range, config with the pop-up, like I said, it can all be saved with it, and they're the properties. So that's what this this whole thing is about here. It's about whether you want to duplicate what you've got there in the same web map, whether you want to save it as a new name, uh, or, or, or just save it, lock it to the properties. Once you've done that, actually, and sort of locked it, you can change, you can manage layer properties and kind of disconnect you know from that if you really want to and you, or you could reset so um you, you know so i can i can sort of go back and forth to sort of whatever the um original uh, properties that were set um and and leave it to that or or break away from um from from what i want to view and it'll it'll give you uh yeah break away from those those styles but it'll give you a little message there as you can see but um yeah, can be a handy way to, uh, if you're using the same layer over and over and over and over again, 
well, you shouldn't be, you know, if it's like postcodes, you shouldn't be resetting the labeling and the colors each time, you know, or zip codes. You should only do it once and save it as a property. So every time you add it to a web app, it'll just all be there for you. I hope you find that useful. Thanks.